Hello everyone and welcome to lecture number six in Terraform for Cloud Engineer series. And today we're gonna talk about like how you can manage Terraform provider versions because till now we were downloading the Terraform plugin which is the latest version. But let's say suppose you got a task or maybe in your company you don't use the latest version because it may happen that latest version is not supported uh, properly or may have some bugs or any any other use cases and let's say suppose you want to use a specific version in Terraform so how you can do that so let's get started uh, let me go to my Terraform code folder where I have my code so I'll just go to Terraform code I'll just go to this folder I'll click on CMD and I'll just open my VS code from here using code dot command. And if you could see my VS code will be opened in this folder and all the files are preloaded for me. So I have already mentioned the provider block, which is like we're going to use Google as a provider. And now we're going to see how we can manage the provider versions in Terraform. So we are using Google as a provider. You might know uh, by seeing this block. So we'll first create one resource block uh, like we'll be using storage bucket. And before that, first we need to understand what is provider. So provider is nothing like it's just a plugin which is used to interact with the target API. And what does target API mean is in our case, we are using Google Cloud. So we are creating on resources on Google Cloud. So our target API will be Google Cloud API. And let's say, suppose uh, if you are creating resources on Amazon Cloud or AWS Cloud using Terraform, then your target API will be AWS API. And uh, similarly, like you are creating resources on Azure Cloud, um, then your target API will be Azure API or if you're using Alibaba or any other cloud, so that will be acting as a target API. But in our case, we are interested in Google Cloud and uh, our target API will be Google Cloud API. So um, over here, we are defining the provider. Like if you could see, I'll just highlight this code just a moment. So here we are basically defining the provider, which is Google uh, in our case. And uh, what will happen is, like, let's say, suppose this code will download some plugins and that plugin will interact with the Google Cloud API. And uh, it will be like uh, whenever you execute Terraform init command, Terraform will try to check the latest version of Google provider and it will install the dependency file for this Google Cloud provider. And let me show you that what I mean. So let me first delete everything so that I can show you real quick. So I'm just deleting so that you get the real feel. And let me just run Terraform in it and let me show you what will happen uh, when we execute Terraform in it as such. So I'll just Terraform in it. So whenever we execute Terraform in it, it will First, try to check the latest version. Uh, okay, I made a mistake in the spelling. Uh, so, as I mentioned, whenever we execute Terraform init, right? First, it will try to check the latest version of Google provider and it will install the dependency log file, which is this for Google provider. So, 
as I've mentioned, uh, it says finding the latest version of HashiCorp Google, installing Google provider, which is 5.7.0, which is the latest version, and installed HashiCorp Google um, provider uh, as such. So, basically it has downloaded uh, the latest plugin. And if you see this .terraform folder, right, let me just take it over here. This .terraform folder has this uh, exe file, which will basically interact with uh, our Google Cloud API. And if you could see, it's .terraform provider registry.io HashiCorp Google, and this is the version. So... And let me see if I can explain you the dependency log file which I was talking about. So whenever we run this Terraform init, right? This created this. This is the dependency log file. And if you could see, it has the latest version, which is 5.7.0, which it has found in Terraform. And uh, it has also downloaded this exe file, which I mentioned, like it will interact with Google API to create our resources. So let me show you one more thing. What will happen if I run Terraform in it again? So basically, if we are running Terraform in it again, right? It shouldn't install the version because already a version is present in the dependency log file, which is already being used. So let me show you that. If I run Terraform in it again, it should not download the dependency file uh, or plugin as such. It will just check in this log file, this version provider version, which is for Google is already there. And it will not download and install the plugin again. So let's see that. And it should show that reusing the version, something like that. So let me run Terraform init. So it says reusing previous version of HashiCorp Google from the dependency log file, which is this. Sorry, this and using previously installed HashiCorp Google 5.7.0. So if the version is already exist, it checked in the dependency log file and it is not installing uh, the plugin again. So you can say Terraform is intelligent as such. And uh, let me show you like if I delete this file again and perform this Terraform in it, so it should download the plugin. And yeah, and because now the log file doesn't exist. So it, 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 it won't have any information that which version of Terraform uh, plugin, provider plugin is installed. And it will check in the dependency log file for the plugin and uh, we will not get the plugin over there. So let me do Terraform in it. So it says finding the latest version, yeah, and installing this latest version, and it has also installed Terraform as successfully initialized. So now it has downloaded the dependency file again. Let's go back to the dependency file, and this is the version we see. And let's say, suppose, as I mentioned initially, like we don't want to use this latest version or uh, there are some feature which are not supported by the latest version and we want to use a specific version, uh, maybe lower than uh, 5.7.0 and uh, how you can specify that in your Terraform file. We will just see that. And before we go to that, I'll just create a Terraform block over here. Or maybe let me show you. Uh, let me show you in the registry first. 
So if I just take my Google Chrome and say that off from provide a bot for clear cloud. If I just click on it. <clears throat> so this is the provider block code which I've copied from here and uh, pasted in my provider file and I've just added the credential and I've also added a video how you can add this credentials. Uh, so please refer my previous video for that because this is quite important. Without this, you cannot create a, a resources in GCP. So if I go over here and if I just click on this use provider option, so if you see, it says provider and configuration options, which is like project region or whatever you want to specify. And we'll be using this code to specify a specific version for a source called HashiCorp Google. So let's take this code from here. And hey. Okay, so this is the Terraform block. Okay, just a minute. So this is the Terraform block uh, used for basically for Terraform block used to configure some higher level behaviors of for Terraform. So this is basically for controlling Terraform configuration on a higher level. And we have uh, mentioned like require providers, which we need like less than 5.7.0. So we'll just add a condition. You don't want to use this uh, latest version. And source is like, we can copy it from here. So if you could see it's HashiCorp Google. So it's the same source, like we are using Google as a provider. So let's see uh, what happens uh, if I run Terraform init plan, uh, the Terraform commands as such, this should not work because already there is uh, a Terraform version which is already present and uh, it should not work, but let's see what happens. Let me save this. So now... Um, we have mentioned like we need to use Google provider, but less than 5.7.0. So let me run Terraform and it. It says fail to query available provider. Could not retrieve the list of available versions for provider HashiCorp Google. Lock provider registry.terraform.io does not match with the configuration. So Already in terraform.log.hcl, the provider version is locked and hence it's not working. So what we can do is, so basically that uh, if I delete this log.hcl file and let's run the command again because you will not have any versions there. And if I just run Terraform in it now, so basically that uh, we have mentioned this as a version constraint now. Yeah, but in our log file, already we have a version there. So we have to mention this as like a version constraint and it should be in our log file. So it will check basically that whether it's matching with the version constraint or not, which is less than 5.7.0. And it will install the plugin for this version and the dependency log file again. Let's see, let me run it for a minute. So it says finding HashiCorp Google version matching less than 5.7.0, installing HashiCorp Google. Okay, so it has installed version 5.6.0 this time. So you could see we are not installing the latest version. We are installing the provider version which we need. Yeah. And if we check the lock file now, or maybe if we go to the Terraform folder, it's see. 
you see it is also showing the previous version and now this version will be used if you could see the constraint uh, over here is at less than 5.7.0 and this is the version yeah so we have added the constraint now and we are using this 5.6.0 version so now if you want to use any other version you can just specify over here either hard code it or use it like less than 5.0 or whatever so we have seen that two version like this which is 5.6.0 and 5.7.0 and here you could see that constraint was applied uh, over here and now let's see what happens if i run this or maybe take a, a storage bucket yeah like this this is the code for storage bucket and how you can find this code is just listed it there so the form plan so it should show uh, a storage bucket to be created yeah I could see this create storage bucket but the main objective was like we wanted to use the version of our own choice and uh, I think we have done that so I'm just stopping this video I hope it was informative thank you so much for watching